for your just desserts. It's not just the words. Some of y'all heads up in the cloud. I'ma bring y'all back to earth. There it is. Just put out a call to occupy Wall Street, and after that, several people who were in contact with each other asked, "How would we do that?" The how that they decided was to form a general assembly. The idea of a general assembly isn't new; it exists uh, right now uh, in Spain and in Greece. They've worked out this process, this open forum for people to speak, be heard, and change things. There are thousands, I would say, around the world. They have facilitators, which are people who help the discussion to make it more open and more democratic. And sometimes they're seen as leaders because they're the ones in front trying to guide the conversation. But even they're not leaders. They're just people with certain skill sets. This is our agenda. This is our agenda. We'll begin with announcements. The General Assembly is sort of a consensus. It's a, it's a realization of what the group we're with believes in or wants to do and then people take it into their own hands to um, do the things that that the General Assembly comes up with. Yes. It now meets uh, two times a day, one sometime in the afternoon around 1 or 2 and the other around 7 p.m. Decisions are made by consensus. We talk about a certain agenda topic from taxes to um, oppression. When someone feels comfortable in proposing something, they will propose that to the group. And that proposal will then be talked about. The concerns about that proposal will be heard, be questions. And then the General Assembly will vote on that proposal, uh, a majority vote. So uh, the majority will win that. But there is a process called a block, which looks like this. And if someone blocks, it's basically like a veto. In that case, the General Assembly will move to a modified consensus, which is 9 out of 10. This one here. This one here. Means speak up. Means speak up. Okay. This here. This here. Means I'm not feeling it. Means I'm not feeling it. But it's not a block. Committees are the products of the individuals in the General Assembly. Everybody individually is autonomous, has the, has the power within them to be their own leader to organize themselves and not have to take orders. So these committees are groups that form with a purpose. It's a lot more direct and a lot less vague than a general assembly. We have an arts and culture committee, a media committee, a comfort committee. NYCGA, General Assembly GA, dot net, uh, you, there is a calendar which posts when the committees meet. If you're here, there is an information desk by the media setup. And you can ask the person manning that station. Or you can check the board in the front of the park. And there will also be a schedule uh, at the information desk on the table. Not only can they share in democracy, being fair with each other, listening to each other, but also um, to be with people and help them, guide them to share love, to share, to share, to share a feeling that that they're not alone in this world. They're not isolated. There are people who care, who are still open still have a mind and a heart that are connected and not dissociated from one another. To all communities that respond to our demands, that respond to our demands and form general assemblies, and form general assemblies where all voices are heard, where all voices are heard, none above another, none above another, we offer support, we offer support, training, training, and all the resources at our disposal. And all the resources at our disposal. We as a 
people, we as a people, must unite and take our power back. Must unite and take our power back. Yeah. It's important to keep this, to keep this space and to keep people coming together and having a place where they know they can come together to meet people, to work together with people for, if not a common cause, common unity. It's known by a lot of us that if we get arrested, we know we're coming back. We're just not leaving.